Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my garden. As you can see, it is another glorious autumn day. It's clear blue sky, sun is out, it's early morning, so it's a little chilly, but I don't mind. As long as it's not pouring down, this is the perfect day to get out in the garden and enjoy it and just really get cracking with some of those projects. You can see I'm standing in the back of a garden yet again on the slope. This is one of those areas where I've done quite some videos with you. And for those of you who follow me already for a while, you know that one side of the slope I developed about a year ago so basically I cut back everything that was going on there build these terraces so I could utilize it for growing my annuals perennials and fruit and vegetable and had great fun with that area so what I want to do is also develop the other side of the slope as well and today is a day where I start cracking with that so I'm gonna get my loppers and start cutting back everything that is growing here basically and the reason for what I'm doing it now is first of all we we're in that uh, time of the year when we don't have ticks anymore so I could just get in there without the fear of kind of like getting attacked by ticks or anything and the second reason is that um, I'm going to build another perennial border herbaceous border actually in the actual garden in the back of a garden and at one point I'll take out the turf and that turf I can utilize really well in here when building these terraces so now is a really good time to get in here and prepare everything so everything is ready when I start working in the garden with a herbaceous border as well so what I'm going to do now is I'll just take a phone flip around just walk you through the area this is basically how we enter the slope. So this is the gate that goes from the garden to the back. So if I swing to the left, there you get to see basically how the slope is looking after I started working on it. So there are already a lot of like terraces, perennials. I mean, you saw it in my previous videos when I was working with you in it. And if I swing to my right, you get to see my wheelbarrow basically with all the tools that I use and need for today's video. And if I continue swinging around, this is a situation. So the top layer, this is pretty much cleared or ready and kind of ready. I put some iris there, some bearded iris, there's hazel shrubs. Um, it's quite level, it's good stable and I use it also for like storing some things I really need to clean it though. There's some pots, there's some actually some nice plants sitting there that I want a hand on using on some future projects so I'm not going to show you too much of those of course now. So let's focus on everything that is going on here at the moment. Some beautiful asters are actually going on still here. Look at them. This is bars blue. They were not good in the garden they were always flopping over they're still kind of like flopping over and they look kind of like leggy at the bottom but i feel here at the slope why not why not giving them a second life maybe i come in with uh, scissors and just cut a few off for a vase that'd be a nice idea so this is how the side of the slope is looking now so if you just look all the way down you see a lot of stingy nettles so we've got like perennial weeds in here and the stingy nettles grow up to two and a half meters probably, so taller than I am, which is like, ooh, wowza. Let me see when I get in there and tackle that. Then there's all different kind of shrubs. So we have like elderberries, we've got a hazel, a lot of plums, but they don't even grow as a tree. They're just like self-seeded plum shrubs, I think. Uh, not flowering, not fruiting, not doing anything nice. And two hawthorns that I like and I intend on keeping them if I can. So I hope I can incorporate them somehow. So let me just walk you around quickly and show you, oh, there's my shadow, hello. Uh, let me just show you how everything is looking. So see my shadow, you also get to see that there's a lot of sun basically now in this area. And this is really good for growing vegetable here and fruit, I believe. Because now when you look down the slope, this is facing west. And if I swing to my left, this is facing south. So you got to see this is definitely sun filled area of a garden, really beautiful. And here you see how the situation basically is. It is quite steep at the moment and there are a lot and a lot of shrubs. So what I do is I will get in there now with my secretary's sether, uh, scissors, secretary's, uh, my saw, my low post, whatever I have and really get cracking. I'm so excited about this project, can't wait. And what I'm gonna do with all of the cuttings again, I will continue building one of these natural fences, which I already started doing here. Reason number one is, as you can see in the backdrop, this is what our neighbors are storing there some tires from the car shop and this plastic container. So I hope I can cover everything up as good as possible. But what is even more important is that um, by creating this kind of like natural wall in the back, it'll keep the, um, the heat quite well. It'll reflect the sun, which is really nice. And it might stop the wind eventually. So let's get cracking. <laughs>
that was it with day one. I managed to cut back everything hard. I'm really happy about it. Besides, I left five hawthorns, so if I swing up, at the top layer, basically. So once I start building my terraces, I need to see how many of them I can keep. But for now, I'll just leave. I'm not going to touch anything. All the rest, though, cleared. Everything is gone. And even down at the bottom of a slope, I start cutting back the really overgrown elderberries and plums and stuff that was growing here. And what I plan on doing is really removing the last bits of those stumps here and maybe add some other fruiting trees but those varieties that don't grow that tall so they're not so overpowering and you have easy access to them i always think about apple or maybe even a peach or something maybe i'm stretching it but i saw that they're selling those things in the garden center here so maybe it's worth trying let's see another project though of course i'm really happy that i could use all of my cutting, so all of the branches and twigs and whatever I had, I could build another fence going all the way up here. And I think it looks so nice. It's quite high at the moment. Of course, it's going to sink down over time. But this is south facing, which means that it might attract completely different wildlife to the one that I have on the other side. So maybe some lizards or maybe even a grass snake. So let's see, maybe I got to observe something next year. And if I manage, I will even share it with you, of course. Well, you could see as well that on this side of the slope, I have big patches of stingy nettles. So I cut them back already hard. And this is actually also like the next thing that I really need to do here. And I need to focus on, I need to get in here with my garden fork, work my way through the entire soil and get out any kind of perennial weeds that are growing here. And stingy nettles are definitely one of them. They have a really uh, well-developed root system. And you wanna make sure that you get them out as good and actually all of them because once i start building the terraces and there are roots still in the soil they will be a problem and i really don't want that so you still get to see the stumps here and i also have found some blackberries in here which are invasive as well so i really try and make sure to get rid of all of those things as a next step basically you guys, that is it for today's video. You can see I'm still standing at the base of this slope, which looks pretty much like a dust pit covered in leaves, and that's exactly what it is at the moment. And tomorrow we're expecting a lovely rainy day, so all of this is going to transform into a mud pit, which means that obviously I won't be able to tackle any of these weeds very soon. I need to have at least a good day or two of like dry weather, because otherwise it's gonna be working in the mud and that is not nice in here, of course. So you can see it is still a beautiful evening here with the sun coming out. The entire back of a slope is filled with sun. So what I aim and doing is grab myself a cup of coffee, sit on the bench on the back of a slope and really enjoy the evening sun. And I hope that you could do something nice as well. And then you also had some glorious last autumn days. Up until then, I'd be very happy to welcome you very soon in my garden again. Take care. Bye.